So do you like to play games or maybe you're just a little bit competitive? Well, coming up next, I'm going to play a game, changing up the video a little bit, calling this one Bergen County True or False. That's coming up next. Hey, so what's going on everybody? It's Bob Jennis with eXp Realty here in Bergen County in Northern New Jersey. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. So if this is your first time to my channel or maybe even your 20th time, make sure you go ahead and click that like button for me, but also subscribe because every week I have new video topics. Some are real estate, some are not real estate related about Bergen County as well as Northern New Jersey. And if you do like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. it. Helps support the channel, helps grow the channel. So thanks again for liking and subscribing. So today I thought I'd change it up a little bit. Instead of just kind of another video about a neighborhood tour or something, let's play a little game this time, shall we? And what I'm gonna do is I've got six true or false statements that I'm gonna talk through that are specifically about Bergen County. And let's see if maybe you know the answer, maybe you don't, I'll give you some background on why it's true or why it's false. Don't be nervous, there's no prize, there's no like million dollars on the line, anything like that. Just don't be scared, maybe you're a little competitive, maybe you know these answers, maybe you don't. But just to give you some perspective on Bergen County and see what you might know about it or maybe you didn't know about the county. All right, first question is real estate related, so question number one, get ready. So true or false, the most expensive house in New Jersey is actually here in Bergen County. So that one's true. The most expensive house is here in Bergen County that's for sale right now. I'm filming this in March, 2021, and there used to be a house that actually came off the market. It's back on the market in Alpine. It's called the Stone Mansion, which is up in Alpine, New Jersey, very celebrity filled area in Bergen County, multi-million dollar properties there. The Stone Mansion was going for almost $40 million. It's been on the market on and off the market for a few years now. It's newer construction, it's vast, it's huge, it's beautiful. So it came back on the market recently at $32.9 million. But that is no longer the most expensive listing that's here in New Jersey in March 2021. It turns out the most expensive home for sale in New Jersey is right here in Mawa, New Jersey in Bergen County. It's called the Darlington Estate and in all seriousness, I mean it's like you could be living in Downton Abbey. So it's going for $39 million up in Mawa. It is a castle basically with a ton of land. So as the photos are going by, just to give you some perspective, I'm looking at the listing right now. It's got 49 rooms, 21 bedrooms, 19 full baths, seven half baths. It's got 12 acres, a reception room, a movie theater, billiard room, indoor lap pool with spa. I mean, come on, like this is unbelievable. And by the way, taxes are about $249,000 a year. So such a bargain, such a steal at $39 million, but Yes, it's true. The most expensive listing that's currently available in March 2021 is here in Bergen County in Mawa. Okay, true or false number two. Question number two. So let's say it's a Saturday afternoon. You're looking through the newspaper and you know, we've been home for months now because of the situation. As we all know, we've all been going through it. So with the situation, we've been able to kind of be at home a lot more, obviously. And you might be kind of looking at all your stuff, looking at your furniture, looking at things to do in the house, because what else do you have to do besides maybe work from home? So here it is a Saturday afternoon. Maybe you've got a crate and barrel brochure and you're going through the brochure and you're thinking, gosh, you know, we need a new couch. Totally need a new couch. Our couch is a piece of junk. And you turn to page 17 of the brochure of Crate and Barrel and you say, holy cow, that is the couch. I need to go check out this couch, but it's Saturday afternoon. I can't really do it right now. We've got some plans later in the evening, so I'll just go on Sunday. So the question is true or false, you can go look at that sofa on Sunday here in Bergen County at the Crate and Barrel. Well, that would be false, right? So kind of strange about Bergen County, it kind of throws people off if you've never been here before or don't live here. We have something called blue laws and blue laws basically are, it's a law that was instituted to really give Sunday as a day for recuperation and religious purposes. And stores are actually closed here on Sundays, except for food stores and basic necessities. But if you want furniture, if you want clothing, for instance, clothing stores, furniture stores, those stores are closed here on Sundays. So you can't go to Crate and Barrel to get that new sofa. You actually could if you wanted to go all the way down to, is it Union County and Short Hills Mall, there's a Crate and Barrel there. Or you can buy it online, but you're gonna have to wait till Monday to be able to go to that Crate and Barrel on Route 17. So you can't shop here on Sundays, which kind of throws people off. So 
That is a false statement. You can't go on Sunday. All right, question number three, kind of real estate related here, kind of, sort of. So true or false, question number three, Bergen County has the highest population of any county here in New Jersey. By the way, there's 21 counties in New Jersey, but Bergen County, true or false, has the most popular or the highest population. I mean, can you feel the pressure? Do you feel the pressure with these questions? So that statement is true. Bergen County is the most populated county out of all the 21 counties here in New Jersey. But don't let that fool you. Yes, as you get closer to New York City here in Bergen County, you're gonna have more densely populated towns. But Bergen County also has over 9,000 square miles of parks and land. So the further north and west that you go in the county, you're actually gonna have more space, you're gonna have more land, so it doesn't feel as crowded potentially. But like I said, the closer you get to New York City, definitely gonna be a little bit more condensed. So yes, it's true, Bergen County does have the highest population with almost one million residents here in the county. All right, question number four, it's not real estate related, but it's specific to Bergen County. So let's say it's a Thursday afternoon, you're trying to think of something to do with your family, and you think, you know what, I wanna take the kids to go to the zoo. And you know about the Bronx Zoo in the Bronx, New York, and you're like, Ugh, I don't feel like going through that traffic and spending all that money, what is it, $18? I don't even know what it is just to get over the George Washington Bridge. Then pay a pretty high fee for the Bronx Zoo itself, even though it's a fantastic zoo, maybe you don't wanna spend all that money. So true or false, Bergen County actually has a zoo. True or false? Oh, the pressure, the pressure. Does it, does it not? Does it, does it not? Well, it's true, Bergen County actually has a zoo. And it's right here in Paramus, New Jersey. It's called the Bergen County Zoo. It's right in Van Son Park. It's not a big zoo. It's not huge. It's not over the top. It's not, you're not gonna spend hours and hours and hours there, but it really could be a fun activity for you and the family. You have all sorts of animals. You have a petting zoo. There's a merry-go-round that's there. So it really could be a fun afternoon activity for you to go with your family potentially, instead of having to cross over the Hudson River and go into the Bronx, et cetera. You've got a zoo right here in Bergen County. All right, so I'm sticking to the activity theme here a little bit with the last two questions. So we're up to question number five now. So true or false, you can ski here in Bergen County. So yes, it's true, there is a ski resort. It's not huge, but it's called Camp Gaw here in Mawa, New Jersey. It's not huge, there's not a ton of trails there, but it's a very easy getaway for you to be able to go skiing or go snowboarding or snow tubing. So a lot of the activities that you have at the larger ski resorts you have available there too. And it literally is 20 minutes from the center of Bergen County. So it's right up in Mawa, New Jersey at the very, very tippy top northwest corner of the county. And instead of you having to drive out to the Poconos, it could be a two hour drive or going upstate New York or even Vermont, which yeah, okay, let's be honest, they have better trails there. They have more trails, probably more um, black diamonds and single diamonds and all of those things, those skiing terms. But it's, it could be a great little getaway for you if you're a skier or any of your family members who might be as well. But yes, it's true, you can ski here in Bergen County at Camp Gaw. All right, the last true or false question here, question number six, can you take flying lessons here in Bergen County? Flying lessons in Bergen County? My goodness, flying lessons in Bergen County, is that possible? Hmm. Well, the answer to that question is, that's true. So Bergen County does have an airport in it. It's known as Teterboro Airport. So Teterboro Airport is not a major hub. It is not an international airport. It is not also a regional airport. You're not gonna be able to take a flight to Florida, for instance, unless if you charter a plane, because it's, it's basically used for private planes. In fact, Teterboro is used by a lot of celebrities, so they don't have to go through Newark Airport. They can fly right into Teterboro, and you're literally like 10 minutes from New York City. But you'll see a lot of planes coming in and out of Teterboro because for corporations that utilize that airport and private charters, like I mentioned before. But there's also flying schools that are available at Teterboro as well. So if you've always had that passion to want to become a pilot potentially and get certified to fly a plane, you can go right here in Bergen County and take lessons to become a pilot. So I get a lot of questions about Teterboro, but like, oh, you know, there's towns that are surrounding it, and like how busy can Teterboro get? It actually can get a little bit busy, uh, depending on all the flights that are coming in and out. It's not like Newark Airport, where it's constant flights taking off and landing. But you wanna learn to fly? It's close, it's around the corner, it's in the southern part of the county itself. It's a great place you can check out if you want to take some lessons. 
All right, so there you go. Six things about Burton County that maybe you knew, maybe you didn't know, maybe you learned some new things about this beautiful area of New Jersey. Bergen County really does have a lot of options for you from shopping and dining, etc. But some of the activities that I talked about in this video, there's so much that you can potentially do here. That's why people love choosing this area to live. So guys, if you have any questions whatsoever about Northern New Jersey, Bergen County, maybe real estate related or not, give me a call or shoot me a text, send me an email or send me a smoke signal. I'm happy to answer any specific questions that maybe you have about the area. I've lived here for basically a majority of my life in New Jersey. I love living here. Happy to answer any questions that you might have. So again, I'm Bob Jennis with EXP Realty here in Bergen County in Northern New Jersey. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next week with my next video.